tell you, there is a lot of right click damage. It's just going to help their laning phase a lot. Challenge as we resume once more. Here's that rotation from Han. He goes in onto G, hits him with a magic missile. There's the light striker, right? First blood is drawn. Wee hi, he's giggling up a storm as he gets the first blood on the Lena. Well, the benefit of Virtus Pro now, they're, they're building up those stacks. They got three Whoop. now in that bigger camp, but. Uh oh, top lane though, He's they're dead. able to get a hold of the Doom, and yeah, he gets dropped. Beautiful Damage stuff. per auto attack in the form of DOTs. I don't know, Dakota, sounds pretty hey. potent to me. I, yeah, you know what, to be honest though, you take two quick strikes, and if there's a stun there, which by the way, Stimbo does get stunned, now he's caught between two here. Yol trying to dish on the right click, but he's like, oh my god, he hits pretty damn hard. Steps back, oh, Power Shot gonna be sidestep, pulling out the Matrix there to avoid that bullet shot, but she still wants Witch Doctor, oh god, Tree saved me, able to salve up, and here's the poison we're talking about, baby. BZZ helps out getting it done, and it's Yol who gets the last laugh after that little tangle. But here we go, stunned to the low ground, Hani not going anywhere, gets raised on up, and just like that, Virtus Pro come right back into this game and get things... Level 11, perfect time for this kind of a rotation. Oh, the he's big dead. Laguna. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and agree with you there, friend. Yule's Light Strike Array, Dragon Slave. That's a, that's a dead doom. They don't even need the Laguna for it. Oh, mid lane, though. They could get a hold of Yol here. They got the Ice Arrows. The Fissure tries to slow him down, but it's not going to be enough as Simba's there to interject. Hookshot going to be sidestepped from Exist, and they'll be fine. So it ends up being another Meepone here, and you can just see the damage getting ready to come on out. Focus Fire is going to be dished from Simba here, but Virtus Pro also converge, and look who's up on the high ground right now. Sadoi waiting on his Clockwork for the time to strike. Hookshot in, finds Weeha, traps him in the cogs, but the swap out from Hani straight away. Coconut goes flying through, isolating a few. Doom goes in, not doing much damage. Lena just laying in the shrapnel. They trade Doom. time. Yes, they will not walk on in. Missing uh, no vision for a lot of the dire teams, so thinking it could be a trap around the Roche pit. G will capitalize and TP out. Here we go. Lena, Shadow Blade up, moving forward, makes it to the high ground. They'll never see this one coming. Will they, though? Okay, on the three, LSA. Nice connection on the two. Laguna follow-up. She wipes out two immediately with the Shadow Blade debut. Oh, cock, double burst, gush. Ooh, Meepone, man. Huge fight for them. Weeha gets a triple kill. It forces them back, and this could set up a very easy Roche. As they move into the pit, they are going to get this party started and Aegis to be indicted to them in the near future. That was very well done. That was, that was painful to watch for Virtus Pro. You see them standing there, they have no idea what's coming. Shadow Blade has not been revealed yet. Lena just walks on up, stuns two of your core heroes. Even the swap from Hani, very well placed. Traps two heroes in the- A pretty solid position here, I say that, but Weeha and Exist could be caught. Now it's just Weeha. Uh-oh, moving forward. There's the ping, they jump on in, and they just get a nice solid handshake of a greeting. Very close here. We are going to try to get something off. The Aegis is going to be burned. Meepone looking to converge and help on out. Oh, the timing. Oh, it happens. Oh. Weeha gets absolutely destroyed from the Requiem. Exist able to get forced to the low ground with the Shallow Grave, but the Urn is there. Not going to be able to TP out. The Urn is going to finish him off. Nice catch right there from Yol on the Witch Doctor. And now it's Virtus Pro looking to take this game the other way. Brilliantly there's set up Fissure. from the smoke. And yep, the Fissure is going to be able to catch Hani. Hani trying to go to the highway, but <laughs> well, there's a Doom for you. And it looks like the demise is oh my god, that's two ultimates for Hani. The heal's gonna be there though, conveniently from your dazzle. Ultimately ha Hani will go down just from Scorched Earth and the Doom alone. And now they look to clean out the rest. The only survivor right now being Fly on this Wind Ranger. This is a huge momentum swing the other way. Absolutely. Only this here. Get that buddy buddy system happening, but they're already coming in from the north. There we go to move on forward. They scout it out, they pop the dust. And well, with that, it looks like maybe there's going to be a Disperse jumping in Requiem. Oh, the Force does certainly help, but Hani is going to be in trouble regardless. He actually gets Shallow Grave, and maybe he wanted to just go down and help with the Aura. There's going to be the swap back save for now. Weeha trapped in the cogs, but the first to fall, Vengeful Spirit, and then the Doom shortly thereafter. Now Sadoi moving on in with the Clockwork, realizing he's eating way too much damage. Death War going to be dropped in exchange, but it's going to be quickly canceled with the Gust. And now Witch Doctor's got to get the hell back. There's going to be a buyback now from the Dazzle, rotating in with the TPGs like, I got to get the hell out of there. But a nice force comes out, and they're forcing their team forward here to get a hold of G. There's the stun, there's the Laguna, and there is the kill. Jotham, a little too late with the Fisher to try to help on out, and now he's the one in trouble. Quickly goes for the TP. Can they stop him? They can. Beautiful shackle set up. Plus the Yules is just going to serve up an easy dinner right there. It's Weeha who gets the double. We'll be up in about 10 seconds.
They will try to commit for this tier three tower. There is still a glyph available. Now a blink dagger on the earth shaker hasn't been revealed yet. This could actually catch Meepone really off guard here if they're not careful. Tier three tower goes. VP maybe trying to bait this in. They will smoke up around the backside so John can come in and find the dunk. They are spread apart pretty well. One barracks goes down. Now the hook shot in. Coconut flying through. Nice delta split from Meepon. There's the dunk. Connects on two, but it only brings down the Aegis. Shallow Grave is there. Keeps Hani alive. G will channel the Requiem to try and bring down the leader, but the Yules, it completely mitigates it. He gets doomed as soon as he comes back down from the Yules, but still they're all alive. Drill Ranger gets left in the base. And the Shackle Shot will stop Doom dead in his tracks. Now Simba just trying to make the escape. Force Staff, Wind Run will get caught by the Fissure. Level Death. Now Force Staff forward onto BZZ. Trying to connect with that Fiery Sword. He's got the Orb of Venom to try and bring him down. But Shackle on two heroes. Fly makes it out. On the other side, Hani does end up going down. Virtus Pro. Make a half-hearted hold. Now Yapsor, he's isolated. Won't have a Grail. He does have a Grave for himself. It's maxed out. Short cooldown. But Force Staff... Just keeping Virtus Pro in a rocky situation. Oh. Yapsor, oh, tries to TP out, but it won't happen. <laughs> he's going to make him work for it, though. Now he's isolated. Oh, what? That was a weird hook shot. This is taking way too long to get a dazzle. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> they got him. Space yeah, created. Yapsor's been playing a really... 5,000 gold, 5,000 experience. They're still farming pretty well, still moving around the map. This game is not completely over, given that Hani could be reconnecting at any time. Yeah. We'll have to see, though. We don't know what happens on his side of the world, unfortunately. And Virtus Pro, with all five on the roster at the ready here, feel a bit more confident at this point. Continue to build up more. Now working with the Ancients. Roche should be up, is up. And both teams, a lot of tension going to be built up in this area here. Meepone, do they actually consider going for contention, or do they try to make a flank play happen here? They're doing it without a smoke as they waltz down this mid lane. They are going to be very close together here. If they try to make a jump here on a Virtus Pro, they might not know who's nearby in the shadows. Weeha, Shadow Blade on. Might need to be a little careful. Pops his BKB going for the Doom. Sets it up with Yules, but won't connect with the stun. He missed times and now just drops the hammer onto Sedoi, but he lives through the onslaught. Now it's Weeha that's in some trouble. The Death Ward channeling through, and he will actually go down. Clockwork for Lena. I was thinking he got denied, but nope, not quite. Now Hani in some trouble. The dunk off to the backside. Isolates exists. He goes down. It's a one for three to start things off. Now Simba, maledicted, trying to run away. He'll TP home, and he won't make it. Level Death is there for the interrupt mini stun. Cask bounces through and it's a one for four trade at the end of it. Yapsor will be able to TP home in the tree line. Rough stuff for the Radiant side. A buyback was used on the clockwork so it is actually a four for two. Oh, oh they Dazzle, Yapsor, no! Yeah. Oh, poor baby. That's a full five, man. White Virtus Pro. Oh, they don't see the message that Roche was done. They're looking to investigate. They move in, they get it started, but Rocket was already there. Clockwork on the way, but they do the damage that Virtus Pro could not, and they're going to bring it down pretty damn fast. But here hook comes shot. the hook shot, looking to bump them back. Sends everyone on their own space. Exists though, still happy to right click it forward. BZZ going to be brought down the on the Doom in a short follow up. Look at this Ward on the high ground. Unleash a Furious Yol with the big damage. And they wipe down too. Quickly, the Aegis is going to be cleared out. It's Sedoi who's able to get it picked up. Virtus Pro, nice contention in Pro, who have taken command back into this game. They don't want opportunities for Meepo to make it back into a game number three, which it would be one hell of a story to kind of be ahead, lose a player, go down, and come back after he comes back into it. But Yapsor could be caught here. He's able to force away. Might need to preemptively grave here, will. And it's enough to create some space, but the rotations do come from Meepone. Latch Ooh. does very nicely connect on the two, and a beautiful silence comes from Exist. It's enough to make Virtus Pro step back and re reconsider what they want to do about this kind of engagement, but with still Aegis in tow, they want to get the best out of it. There's another jump in from Sedoi, able to get a hold of Simba. Laguna flies, they want to be able to bring down G. Sedoi getting right clicked upon with the Blade Fear going to be popped. His Aegis will also go down. G is able to dish out the damage. Requiem's going to fly. Oh, and he missed time. Oh, my. Man, okay. oh, man. Okay, Wait, exist. Hookshot again? High ground. Yep. They find Sedoi. exist. But oh. that's second life. That's like three hook shots in one skirmish. And now, Virtus Pro. We'll be able to move forward and clean out the second tower. And oh poor little my. Meepone here. They have a couple of members on the sidelines and could be forced to pull out a buyback. Yeah, three for one plus Aegis. What a tough fight. We're getting to that stage of the game where Lena just starts to fall off. She's got the level three Laguna Blade, the Aghanim Scepter. It doesn't get any better than that. 
This is the maximum damage it'll do, and now they just can't solo down G. He's a bit too tanky. He lived through all of that burst damage and then did big damage at the end of that fight. Now they will look at the high ground. What's the buyback status here? Dro has one. So does the Wind Ranger. So this should be a an achievable hole, but oh, Weeha, he walks out of the base. Oh no, sadoi has got himself a gen. Gem, Weeha will get grave. The dunk from Jotam locks Honey in place. Now the cast bouncing back and forth. They get a double kill as they bring down Lena and Venge. Lena does have a buyback here. Lots of buybacks available. I think Lena will need to use hers. Venge will be stuck in the grave. Hook shot onto Yapzor. No grave for you. Dazzle goes down now. The buyback from Lena comes out. VP will get some licks in on this tower, but playing this a bit cautiously. It is a 5v3 on the field. There's the Laguna Blade right onto G, but he's still alive. He's shackled up, but they just can't bring him down. Now he finally falls. Sadoi in deep, trying to go man mode onto Weeha. Gets off the blade mail. Not enough for a return kill. They will lose two dominating streaks in both the Clockwork and the Shadow Fiend. They get a kill on Lena uh, from the Maledict, it looks like, on the retreat. So it is a dieback for her, but still a pretty good hold for the Radiant side, getting two key kills. Wrap around smoke. I like this from Virtus Pro. Can they actually find somebody, though? Simba turtled up in the trees, as is exist. They'll find him. They scout it out with the rocket. Even a dunk from Jotam. Well, that was a little bit of overkill, but boy, did they put that Wind Ranger six feet under. You want to get rid of him quick. Simba does have the buyback, obviously, but we'll, would love to hold on to it. It's going to be 80 seconds, though, until he does come back. So Virtus Pro, they're going to make the best of this. They're going to try down a push down from the north here in the top lane, but there is still threat as they get the rotation towards the mid lane. Exists going to be here, so pressure mid and bottom at that same moment. Virtus Pro have to get the hell back. Do they have the mobility? Oh, they have G already here, but they're going to need a lot more. Bottom lane now in trouble. Tier 3 could go down. Glyph is going to be popped. Okay, that's a big one. That is that's not a, a good one. use of the Glyph. I don't think that really mitigated any damage, and they still lose the tower. They don't even get the deny on it. Not that the gold really matters at this point, but they're, they might be kicking themselves later without that Glyph available. If Dro does that rinse and repeat kind of play and comes back in. Here we go. Initiation onto Sedoi. Laguna Blade brings him down right away. He's got a cheese, but not going to be able to eat it fast enough. Dazzle goes down. He'll drop a gem, and it will be recovered by the dire side. A game. Who's the Longer rapier carrier, though? Bottom, That's the big problem. You know, no Dusa. Shadow Fiend's not really that great. Oh, 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 top. They're going for G. Set up with the stun right there from Wii, and they're trying to finish him off in time, but Doom shows up, throws out the Doom. They're able to finish off Weeha here. Exist trying to get out. They were unable to take down Virtus Pro. He doesn't want to have to die. He doesn't want to have to use a buyback here. He's able to blink himself into the woods to get away. Oh, the oh. hookshot's just oh. too late. They scout him out with the rocket, but he is already on the way out. Yeah. Now, they did lose Weeha here, who obviously will. Fishery pops his BKB. Echo, not going to be doing a whole lot, but he's trying to find a way to get into a corner, but the Death Ward is what will finish him off. He does now have exist. the buyback, but pop, yeah, top lane exists. Trying to spread them thin, going for the Rex here in the top. Oh, it's so dirty, it's so ratty. But he's going to make his exit. All right, the Ancient takes a little... Wow, they're going to go for the win here. Thinking Dro might not have a buyback. This feels risky. Simba goes in, pops the BKB, will now retreat. TP back from Lina. The first Tier 4 goes down. Looks like Dazzle will drop a cheese to exchange over. Second Tier 4 taking a lot of damage, but now the buyback from the Dro. G making an aggressive move forward. BZZ's used his BKB off to the side. Shackle will connect onto G. Oh no, the Shadow Fiend can be in a lot of trouble. Exist. Raining in the Frost Arrows, but G stays alive. Pops the Satanic and he'll live. Life steals back up to full health. Wind Ranger now, is buy now buys back, but Jotam goes in with a dunk on two, gets the kill on the Venge. They're just going straight for the throne. The Shadow Fiend doesn't care at all about heroes. The rest of his team just trying to zone them out to the well, and they're doing it beautifully. Jotam gets force stabbed in, but he's still buying time for this Shadow Fiend to do his damage. Do they actually have the damage? Ultra Kill comes out for BZZ on the Doom. Not quite the rampage we were hoping for, but GG is called. Weeha will tap out, and after a crazy tug of war back and forth and the unfortunate DC from Hani, it will be Virtus Pro that moves on to the semifinals here in the Summit 3 European Phase 1 pre qualifier. Yeah, not going to work out there. Very unfortunate, obviously, for Meepone and the connection issues, and Hani was not able to be there by their side. This was a game that Meepone looked really good. Early game, mid game, they had it in control. And then unfortunately things just went sour. There's not much anyone can do about it at that point. We we paused, we gave him the allocated time. Virtus Pro even added an extra bit of time just to see if Hani would come back. But yeah. the show must go on. It was entertaining for a while there. Like you said, a great tug and war. 